I didn't even mean to go into that, but whatever. You know, she want to deal with the brothers, how the brothers should be treating each other, man. She's tired of hearing shit about brothers fucking over each other, man. All right, so let me get first Peters. First Peters chapter three, verse eight to 11. It says, finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. All right, so you brothers need to be of one mind. You ain't had it. See, we say that we're the teachers. We're the teachers under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai under Great Millstone, our elders. So we supposed to have one mind, is the same mind. We all supposed to teach the same thing. You know. And it says we supposed to be compassionate one to another. It's just talking about the brothers, and you know, in your immediate camp, you need to be compassionate, man. Just because a brother go off one time, you know, brother may do something you don't really like or something that's aggravated to him, to you. And you like, fuck this nigga and you just going all off. Scriptures say you're supposed to be compassionate one to another. It says love as brethren, as brother. Brothers in your camp supposed to be like your fucking flesh, man. They're supposed to be like your blood brother. All right? They're supposed to be like blood. I mean, what the what the hell do we what else what else do we have in this land? All we got is each other. Your family ain't ain't for you. If you got a real brother, most likely he ain't for you. So who is your brother? Brothers in your camp. When you need help, I know this for a fact. When a brother needs help, who you gonna run to? His family? No. He gonna run to the brotherhood gonna get another brother run to another brother and the brother gonna help him whether it be financially spiritually emotionally or whatever but th th this is what this whole thing is set up for this is why the most high set this whole thing up man you cannot go through this life without your brothers man so why disrespect you know disrespect and be cutthroat with each other man this shit just makes no sense man It says, be pitiful, be courteous. All right, sometimes brother, sometimes brothers be rude for no fucking reason. Just rude, with, you know, being rude with your brother for no reason, man. Just because you want to act like a nigga, man. It's used to say, be courteous, man. Be courteous to one another, man. Think about what you finna say to this brother, man. Before you, you know, when you, if you gotta rebuke a brother, everybody gotta get rebuked. You know, let's be real. Everybody got emotions, man. When you, um, when you, you know, you gotta rebuke a brother. You rebuke him to a certain extent, man. You rebuke him, but then you gotta build that brother up. You can't rebuke him, rebuke him down to the dirt. You cause that brother to destroy himself, man. And then that blood is on your hands. You rebuke the brother and then you build him back up, man. You let him know, look, I, I'm just telling you this because I love you. You know, I don't want you to go off. You know? Yeah, it's about being hard, but it's about being hard. You got to be hard in this truth, man. But you got to also be compassionate with your brother. Now these other nations and Esau and shit, fuck them. <laughs> Ain't no compassion for them. But your brother, that's not, that's not, you that, You didn't make that person, man. The Most High made that person, man. The Most High is the one that's carrying that brother in this truth. Not you, man. So you have no right to beat this brother down into the ground, you know what I mean, and then, and not build him back up. You know? But uh, it says not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrariwise blessing, 
knowing that ye are there to call, that ye should inherit a blessing. Meaning, if a brother do you some harm, man, that don't mean you got to do him some harm. I'm talking about immediate camps, man. Immediate camps, or brothers in GMS, period. When the brother do you some harm, he might, he might get a little emotional. Sometimes the shit happen, you know what I mean? Brother might get a little emotional and go to cursing you out, calling you all type of names. Now, I mean, you got to go do the shit back to him. Calm the shit. Yo, bro, I thought we brothers, man. How you going to just talk shit like, how you going to talk about me like that, man? And if you get that bad, take it to the, um, to the head of the camp. The head of the camp can't deal with it, take it to the head of the state. Head of the state can't deal with it, take it to Marshall Bob. Marshall Bob can't deal with it, take it to the elders. All right, but it don't need to be no railing for railing. Camps going back and forth. Camps and GMS going back and forth. This state versus that state. You know what I mean? That shit don't need to be so, man. It says no relic for relic. All right. Render not, not rendering evil for evil or relic for relic, but contrary wise blessing, knowing that ye are there to call, that ye should inherit a blessing. Because we all supposed to get the kingdom, Lord willing, that's what we working for. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak not God. And don't be lying. Be lying on brothers, man. Don't be telling the don't be telling brothers no fucking no. Don't, don't be making shit up, making some scriptures up. Just try to get a brother to do what you want him to do. Don't be lying on brothers, getting brothers in trouble, getting brothers kicked out, you know, because you don't like this particular brother. So you, you go tell you know, the elders some lie about him and, you know, the elders don't got the full information and don't do that shit, man. Cause the most I watch it, man. You know, be truthful with, with brothers. All right. It says for, uh, it says, let him eschew evil, mean hate evil and do good. And do good. Let him speak peace and ensure it, man. Yo, hate the evil, love the good. And it's evil to break the law. The scriptures say, lie not one to another. Deal with each other honestly. You should be dealing with each other with integrity and with honor, man. This brotherhood is supposed to be honorable. It's supposed to be an honorable thing for us to be in this brotherhood, man. When you look at another brother, and I'm just going to speak under GMS because that's who I'm affiliated with. When you see another brother in GMS, you post a, yo, that's, a, yo, Shalom, Mark, Yal Bashim, Yal Shah, Barakata. Supposed to see that brother is honorable. That brother's supposed to carry himself as honorable first. But we're supposed to see each other as honorable men. Should be happy to see each other, man. Shit, cause the most I could have made it to where we had to go through this this slavery with no brothers. That would be hard as fuck, man. So be happy that the most I gave you brothers. Deal with your brothers fairly and stop bickering amongst each other, man. Alright. Go well, Proverbs eleven and um two through three. Proverbs 11, 2, it says, When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Okay? If you keep yourself humble, the most high make you obtain that wisdom. But the minute you get proud, you know, you want to be seen by everybody. You want somebody to put you up on this pedestal. That's when, that's when, um, that's when, that's when the most high going to put shame on you. A lot of brothers done went through that, man. A lot of brothers came into this truth, man, and they thought they knew something, man. They wanted to outshine somebody, but they wanted to, you know, show somebody they know something. Boom, they kicked out. They out of GMS. 
I've seen a lot of I've seen that shit happen to a lot of brothers, man. Most high cannot stand fucking pride, man. Most high hates that shit. But he loves humbleness. I've seen brothers that was so low that didn't really know much. But they were just they so humble. And they wanna they wanna learn. Most high raised them up like a fucking mountain, man. You know, look at all the brothers like like a Mashabala. You know? Most high raised them up. Um Brother Yashawamba, most high raised them up. Uh, that brother out there in uh, Carolina, uh, Manatizak, most high raised them up. Um, look at the elders. You know, so when I don't get rebuked for saying this, you know, putting this out there, but even the elders, when they was over in, um, I guess it's called One West, or out there, they used to call them the F camp. You know, the fuck up camp, or fuck troop, or whatever. And they were they were looked at as low in that school, man. The elders are humble. The elders, you know, from what I heard, and I, you know, I've talked to the elders before, and um, from what I know, they're humble. You know, elders talk to you like you a brother, like y'all on the same level, like y'all brothers, you know. And um, I've heard from Amasha Bala and the other brothers that they they went up to New York and met the elders. And from from what they told me, the elders are the elder to heart, and everybody is, is real humble and they real, they cool. Like just, from what I heard, elder to heart said the brother. The brother told me you'll fall in love with elder to heart. That's that's what kind of brother he is. That's what that's what that's the that's what I've heard. So it goes to show that even though I mean, when you stay humble, even though you might be the lowest of the low, like the elders was called the F camp, and look. They were like one of the top, they the top, they are the top peak of that mountain now, man. Out there teaching. When you, when people say Israel, they say GMS. All right? You know, as teachers, I mean, first of all, when they say Israel, they say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. But as teachers and prophets, when people know, when people, these heathens and two-thirds, when they hear Israel, they know GMS. Go type in Israelites, you'll see GMS. Great millstone, you see Elder Tahar, Gabar, Rhyme Law, you know? Man, you would never know that in that school that they was called the F camp. That they was the lowest camp in that school. You would never know that. But see, that's how the most high works. All right, going back to that proverb 11 and 2, when pride cometh, then cometh shame. And this, this is the part that applies to the elders. But with, but with the lowly is wisdom. You know, keep yourself low, the most high builds you up. See, something high can't be built up. Something already in the heavens, you can't build that no more. You gotta knock that shit down, man. The wind gonna knock it down. But something that's low to the ground, you could build that up. And that's how the most I like to do. And that's how I've seen it happen with a lot of brothers. With the elders, you know, and, and down on the line to the different brothers I named, Mashabala, you know, uh, um, Yashawamba, you know, the brother Manatizakba out there. He wasn't even the head of, uh, he was not even the head of that state. He, he was just a brother in in the state. You know, just doing what he supposed to do and being humble. He was teaching by himself, and guess what? The Most High. Most I took that brother, you know, that split happened in Carolina. And the most I took that brother, put it on the elders and say, boom, you the head of Carolina. That brother's the, the head of the whole state. Not because he know a whole bunch. Not because he just have, he know the elders. Because the most I seen that the brother was being humble. The brother was a humble brother. The most I put it on the elders, put that brother up there. That brother up there now. No, so that's that scripture. Oh, it says, but with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide him. All right, and that's what you should use to guide you in this truth. Your integrity. All right, remember what I told you integrity was? I told you it was, uh, uh oh, hold on. Integrity is.